Yeah. So the meds, if you yeah. don't balance the meds I just know. right. Well, that happens to like me the night. Crazy. Lawrence. Anyway, hey, welcome yeah. back. Thank God we pre taped this good. show. Yeah, because we don't. Hey, have we're now back with Mark Thies and Mark. Very yes. good uh, to have you Thanks. with us. And Lawrence uh, thank is thank still you with us me. too. Lawrence is with us too, but yeah. we're going to give. Now this is the rule. Yeah. Because we don't yell on this show. We he, don't. He, by the way, Lawrence is going to be on Ed yelling. tonight. You're doing the Ed show. And you he's going to. I want the Democrats were against the filibuster. By the way, Lawrence. Warm up for Ed. By the way, Lawrence, you said you wanted some psycho talk. You just run the clip of yourself tonight. You got psycho. You are so Lawrence. A lot of things thrown at you before the break. Yep, We're sure. going to let you talk. Mika's going to have a question. Lawrence is going to get 30 seconds at the end, and then you're going to have a 30-second <laughs> response. Go, Mark. Well, first of all, you know, I, I'm alleging that the CIA program was, was the most effective intelligence program we've ever had. You don't have to take my word for it. Let me read you a quote from, uh, from John Brennan, the D Obama administration's counter top counterterrorism advisor, in an interview with Jane Mayer in 2007. She asked him whether enhanced interrogation techniques were necessary to keep America safe, and he replied, would the U.S. be handicapped if the CIA was not, in fact, able to carry out these types of detention and debriefing activities? I would say yes. So John John Brennan, if you take his words for it in 2007, Barack Obama has handicapped this country by eliminating the CIA's capability to question and interrogate uh, senior terrorist leaders. All right, but um, in fact, one of the, the inception of the conversation with Jane Mayer yesterday, and then it just went completely into the big picture, which brought you on the show today, Mark, sure. uh, was uh, one of the issues was the Christmas Day bomber and sure. you know, how he was handled. How is it different? than the way well, for, other terrorists have been handled, and quite fine, thank you, in previous administrations. Isn't this becoming a political football and being abused that way? Well, first of all, the people who are making a political football are the Obama administration. These are, these are the people. John Brennan goes out yesterday and says, anyone who criticizes the idea that you would interrogate, a that you would read a terrorist's Miranda rights after 50 minutes and let him sit silent for five weeks is unpatriotic and is hating the cause of al-Qaeda. That is a shameful thing to say. So we're not, we're not questioning the, the patriotism of, our, of the Obama administration. We're questioning the wisdom of their policies. The reason we were caught blind on Christmas Day is because on his second day of office, Barack Obama eliminated our capability to capture, detain, and effectively interrogate terrorists. When I was doing, when I was wait, writing wait, this Let me stop you there. No, 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 it is true. And this is something that yesterday, I actually had somebody in the intelligence agency call me up and say, Joe, you, you were suggesting that we should have put the Christmas Day bomber well, into how the, did Richard let, Reed hold, hold on, hold on. Yeah. How did Richard Reed Guy, do let, Rich, you, did you, Richard you made Reed us a do? promise. Was I'm going to ask you to say Richard corner. Reed. I just okay. want those running. So, Richard so, Reed. I'll take I, on Richard I Reed. have a point that I need to make that is an important point, and that is yesterday I asked Jane Mayer why we don't put, didn't put the Christmas Day bomber into the program. My intel source called me up and said, the program no longer exists. All That's we right. have now is the FBI capturing, reading them their Miranda rights. So this program, and Americans don't know it, this program that we're debating has been wiped out. We don't have two choices anymore, do we? You're absolutely right. And let me tell you why this is dangerous. You know, Mike Hayden, when I interviewed him for my book, Courting Disaster, he, told, he explained to me that intelligence is like putting together, putting together a puzzle. And you've got all the pieces laid out on the table in front of you, thousands of pieces, you know, intercepts of phone calls. A guy comes into uh, the embassy and says, my son's become a radical. And you've got to connect these pieces. But you're not allowed to look at the picture on the cover of the box. When you capture a terrorist like Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and you question him, he's not just giving you more information. He's showing you the picture on the cover over the box. He's not giving you more intelligence. He's telling you how the intelligence pieces you have fit together. That is what we have lost in this country. We don't have the ability to, ca to see the picture on the cover of the box anymore because we're not capturing and interrogating the top leaders of al-Qaeda. And that is why we were caught blind on Christmas Day. I guess it's very, very I'm just dangerous. Gonna, I'm going to kind of like teed up for Lawrence again because I thought we were caught blind on September 11th, frankly. Yeah, and I, I guess that's, that's kind of the, that's well, the you know, I'm going to do it a, a, so with a little, little less vitriol of... here, but I think Lawrence's point is, hey, wait a second. Before we go and point back, it's almost to, to, are you to, kidding? To the kind of to the brilliance of, of the Bush defense system here, that was the asleep at the wheel moment. I don't That's know what, where we lost the thousands of lives. Point. Am I, the, well, the point the is that you're basically is, saying the, that we are well, less safe now that. and pointing backwards at the, the genius of the Bush but, administration. But, Donnie, we, we, but, put this, we put this into place as a result of 9-11. Exactly. This system there you that go, stopped Joe. us from being this attacked was, after 9-11. Wasn't can that the idea? Can I respond to what he said? Yes, please. Can I respond to what he said? You're, we were caught blind on 9-11. On, on, uh, on You're absolutely right, because we, didn't, we weren't capturing and interrogating these terrorists. 
course. Quite so blind. we corrected I got a problem course. with that. We, we get... corrected course, and we f and we set up a system where we could capture terrorists, find out what they knew. We didn't know who Khalid Sheikh Mohammed was even, yeah. and now the Obama administration has thrown that out and gone back to the pre-9/11 approach. That's I mean, if it, the fact that we made a mistake and we didn't stop 9/11 doesn't prove your point that we should go back to what All we were right. doing okay. that led to so 9/11. So here we go. Here so we go. Here we go. Lawrence, you have 30 seconds, oh, and yeah. then Mark gets a response. Ready? Go. Okay. Mark, I'm wondering about your Less own than. personal experience uh, with torture. I know you grew up in the richest zip code in America, in the Upper East Side. You went to the <laughs> only boarding school in Connecticut that I know of that has a golf course, uh, as well oh as goodness. two uh, oh, very skating very and, research. Uh, and then you went to Vassar, and of course, like all the torture mongers in the White House, the Cheney family included, you never served a day in the military, never considered that. What does that, that prove, Lawrence? Well, I'm wondering, with that background, what is it that gives you an expertise all right, Mark, on torture? Uh, what makes you love a, it so right, much? Very First of all, one, it's not torture. Second of all, you know, Jane Mayer said the other day, I never had a security clearance. Uh, so uh, basically she said that she doesn't know what she's talking about. I had a security clearance. Well, I was no. read into the CIA well, program. When, when President Bush wrote his speech and so, did a speech in September 2006 to, uh, to reveal this program, I was taken into a secure room in the National Security Council. I was given access to all of the intelligence this program produced. And I actually met with the actual interrogators who interviewed Khalid Sheikh Mohammed right. and Mark, got the information to stop attacks. You, so you that's my expertise. No, you, yeah, you did. In about 25 seconds. We're going to have you guys back for a full three hours. <laughs> Mark, thank you so oh, much. It. it was interesting. I've got to Thanks, say, Jeff. we don't Appreciate usually it. do the crossfire thing here, but what can I say, Lawrence? Ed needed, uh, you know, Lawrence. Lawrence needed something for Ed tonight. You got it. He got it. Well,